everyone, it's Janet here again. I um, hope you guys are doing well. I'm continuing on, sorry, I'm continuing on with my uh, commentary and critiques of the recall for California governor's um, style. Not just suit style, but just style in general when um, applicable. Um, because I thought it was really interesting. I wanted to expand it and make it just limited to suits itself because there are some... Um, press photos for some of the candidates that were in sort of like everyday sort of styles. I thought that would be kind of um, interesting to add some feedback to. So today's video is all about Larry Elder. For some of you guys who don't know, Larry is a conservative media radio host. He's um, known for being very outspoken on a lot of very hot button topics. And so I just wanted to go through some of the um, suits that he's wear, he's worn in the past and just a little bit on his style um, and just some of his high points and things like that. So here we go. Um, so I grabbed, this is the first one I grabbed from a Fox News this is the first one I grabbed from a Fox News screenshot, and I thought it was really well done. If you'll notice, you'll see a lot of consistent patterns with the way he dresses. Lots of colorful ties, interesting patterns. And that's the way he stands out in a very, um, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a professional sort of suit style that it's always very, it's kind of not boring, but very simple. It's either blue, black, or gray. And there's not a lot of room to really add a lot of flair. But for someone like Larry, and like, for someone like Larry, <laughs> um, thanks for bearing with me. Uh, for someone like Larry, he's, you know, in the spotlight quite a bit. And he's in the radio business and he's, you know what I mean, as a radio personality or radio, radio, radio personality, you know what I mean, you're in the spotlight. So you've got to be able to look professional and well-dressed, but, you know, not over the top. So I really like the way he does, I really like what he does with his suits. Um, they're like consistently blue or black or gray. And the only bit of, um, in, the only bit of like uh, mystery or intrigue that he adds to his style is in the ties. So, um, I grabbed this one from a Fox News um, screenshot, and I really like this one. I don't know if I've, I've said, I may have said this before, but I thought he did this one really well. Um, I can't really quite tell from the color of the screen grab, but it looks like it's a black suit jacket with um, a pink shirt and this like kind of pink and gray plaid tie. I really, really like it. He's on TV, he's, you know, he's speaking about something very important or a topic that's near and dear to him. And so I imagine that he wants to dress a certain way and carry himself a certain way, but not seem like he's um, trying to be extra showy. So I really like this pink um, shirt and black suit jacket combo with the plaid tie. It really, really says a lot about how he's really colorful and fun, but also very professional. And here's another look from Larry Elder uh, as he launches his campaign. And this looks a great look for him. I really like that. Again, he's wearing a blue suit jacket. Um, and he's wearing, I think, a, it looks like it's a white shirt, white button-up shirt. And he's using another printed plaid tie, like maybe brown and yellow. And again, that's all. And he has a matching pocket square as well. So he does a really good job. Um, Larry has a really, like, does a really good job with dressing himself for, you know, being on the spotlight, not just as a radio personality, but just um, as someone who's, you know, on the forerunner, um, on the forerunner forefront of the recall campaign, like being out very outspoken and launching himself into the spotlight of something that's gotten very prominent national attention. So I want to say that he did a really great job with um, this blue suit and the matching plaid tie and the pocket square. Here is Larry Elder again. This is um, an older photo. This is from when he was given a um, star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for a film that he executive produced um, with Dean Cain, John Voight. 
And um, I really like this one. Again, he's he's always going to be in the suit. You're not going to find Larry in anything else. He's a, re a media guy. And so he's always wanting to be carrying himself in a very professional um, manner. Uh, dressing in that way to kind of dignify, to kind of signal that he's, you know, someone very polished, very sophisticated, and even in something like a very big celebration like this, he does a good job of staying under the radar without being um, does a good job of staying under the radar without being over the top. Even at an event like this, that's a celebration of you know getting a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, you'd probably want to go all out. But again, he does the same thing. He's he's very consistent. He always does the blue suit or the black suit with just like the intrigue in the tie. And so this is like an orange and red plaid striped, uh, orange and red striped tie. And he's holding up his very famous star that he's been given for the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And again, it's just, it's just really, it's simple and it's just really well done. So this is another look that I found. I can't remember what event this is, but it looks like there's muffins in the on the table in the back where they're standing. Um, looks like there's a couple of breakfast muffins standing on the tables um, behind them in the photo. And so this is a photo of Larry with Candace Owens. I can't. Uh, it doesn't say what year it was, but it almost like this is a breakfast event or a speaking engagement. And so um, I just wanted to like share like you know what I mean it's very like a breakfast event is very simple it's not very exciting um and he manages to kind of dress it up a little bit you know what I mean his pocket square is actually in this particular scenario doesn't match his tie which is very unusual it's very unusual for the tie and pocket square not to be matching but he does a, a blue suit with a green tie I thought that was just really interesting and really fun you know, most men don't normally um you know wear green ties it's usually red or gray or something very conservative and so i love the way he added like that emerald green tie to this look it really um shines and the last one that i'm gonna um speak on i thought this was a really interesting photo of larry and look from him um it's probably a little bit older um, but again, he's doing the blue suit jacket. But what was interesting about this one um, was that he didn't go with a solid shirt this time. He went with a striped sort of plaid um, button up shirt. But, and again, a striped tie. That's what seems to be his signature either uh, piece of accessory, either the um, striped tie or a colorful tie. And again, you know, he does a really good job. Um, you can't go wrong with the way he doesn't do, he really doesn't do a bad job of dressing himself. It's very consistent. You see him in the same colored suit jackets and it's usually like a, it's usually like a white button up shirt or something with a little bit of pattern or um, solid pink underneath because it's dark skin. So he needs um, his, so the pink helps his um, enhance his skin tone. So these were my four picks. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, looking at kind of giving you some feedback on his style. I thought he did a really great job overall. And um, I wish him all the best in his candidacy, candidacy for California governor, um, which is coming up in another month. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Would love to hear from you guys what you guys thought about his suit style and just his style in general. And I'll talk to you guys soon.